Hello friends, hi, how are you doing? I am Double N. You probably saw the reaction with my squad earlier. If you didn't watch that, go check it. Um, we're just gonna sit down here, probably talk a little bit more in depth about most of the new things that came out. Uh, a lot of things, a lot of handful amount of things. Core Core has been leaked for the past two days. My voice is gone. So for all of you people that are finding my channel, it is your first video watching me. I apologize, my voice is literally fucking gone. Um, but leave a like, subscribe guys, because we're gonna be covering Ultra Sun and Moon. Hella, I've been excited for Ultra Sun and Moon. Um, ever since, um, not, not the Lycan Rock shit, but, uh, what was it, what was it, what was it, what was it, what was it? It was actually kind of recent, if anything, I got really excited for Lotus on the Moon. When they first dropped that Koro Koro, uh, which we're going to talk about in this video about, um, the form names of the Sogale Lunala, and I was like, this is Lily Black and White 2 now. You can't deny that, it's Lily Black and White 2 now, but it's its own little version of it, which Ultra Sun and Moon, which I don't want to stand to say that, but I am really excited about it. Um, I, I think the thing that excites me the most about Ultra Sun and Moon is the potential that it has because when it came out today um, For all the stuff I was like dude this is fucking insane and I never really was how do, how do I put this I Before all of this month essentially and I think a lot of us can agree with this a lot of us weren't really excited for Ultra Sun and Moon Because we didn't know what we were getting you know what I mean we, like you're paying $40 for a game and you didn't know what you were getting um, number one and number two as well as we just like the game comes out so soon and we still don't know anything i know there's a good counter argument being oh look at platinum look at yellow uh look at crystal emerald um these games have all sold really good and the are the like continuations so it's like uh, 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 it's weird it's weird so i mean like yeah but i mean i feel like i want to at least know something i don't want to go in there blind so that's my little speech about that. I don't want to go in blind because people always like attack anybody that's like, oh, you're fucking stupid because you, you didn't like a game because you didn't know anything about it. You're spoiled. I'm like, I'm not spoiled. I just wanted to know at least something outside of a new Lycan Rock that I don't even care about. But right, we're going to watch this video here. Hi, Pikachu. How are you doing? So the one thing that I just want to talk about is Necrozma right here, right? I'm gonna start this right here. Why do they sit here and point out Necrozma? Like, we already don't know this shit, right? Ability Prism Armor, Signature Move, Prismatic Laser. A lot of people actually didn't know that, and it was all over my timeline. People being like, oh, well, Necrozma got a new signature move uh, out of this Koro Koro. And I'm like, are we, are we, do we, do, 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 do we just skip out on Sun and Moon? We just skipped out on Sun and Moon, didn't we? Because, <laughs> like, this has been a move. I actually covered it in my stat video that I did last year. Of uh, Necrozma stats and all the mon stats being leaked. Um, I covered that and I was like, this is literally a signature move. I forget what it does, but it's a signature move. Now, question why would they point this stuff out when we already know about this nigga for literally almost a year? We have known about Necrozma. We know what base form Necrozma can do and what he does. So, why do they point this out? Number one possibility right now, the only possibility is because Necrozma himself gets a brand new form. Necrozma himself gets a brand new form. You know how I noticed too? Um, okay, so they don't show it at the beginning here. They actually do not, but that Machamp does not want to fucking deal with it. But Necrozma himself is going to get a brand new form. It's like that star Pokemon that we saw in between the, um, where is it? It's like around here, is it not? Yeah, see right there. You can't see my mouse, but it's underneath the available and above number 17. That Mon right there is literally the brand new Necrozma form. Uh, it's interesting. We're going to talk about that. He's probably going to be the brand new Necrozma form because, number one, there's no reason why they would sit here and point out what Necrozma can do. There's just no reason at all. There's literally no reason. So for them to do that and just to do it would be weird. Because when they did it for Rayquaza, if you actually remember when they did it for Rayquaza, we all are like, and Oris were like, all right, cool, he's going to get a Mega, right? Because they announced that Rayquaza is going to be able to be obtainable in Oris. And we're like, all right, dude, we've played Emerald, Ruby, and Sapphire. We know you can get him. But they did that. And then, you know, a couple weeks later, we got. Um, what should I call it? Mega Rayquaza. Instead of the an origin form, you got a Mega Rayquaza. So it's it's weird. It's interesting. It's something. You know what I mean? But I don't I don't fucking know, dude. I just don't fucking know. Like I'm telling you, that's probably the only reason why they actually uh, announced Necrozma's form like this because he's gonna be getting a new form. Uh, probably a couple weeks here. Who knows? Probably next month's Koro Koro. I don't know. Like I said, I knew that we we're getting Koro Koro and then we're gonna get a trailer. That's why you guys didn't see me cover any Koro Koro from we got. I waited to see and get the final verdict, the final batch of information, which is today. Uh, move on here though. Enough about Necrozma. The cool thing about this is, is he literally captures Soul Galeo and Lunala. That shit is raw as fuck. Look at this dude. He literally, the thing about this too is it's different. 
guess kind of, because Kyurem was like kind of forced to capture Reshiram and Zekrom with the DNA splicer. That shit just chased after them when the Zynga started to run. Um, whereas this, Necrozma is doing it based off his own free will. He is literally doing it off his own free will, which is insane. That is insane. That, that That's nuts. That means Necrozma is up to some shit. My man is devious. He's no longer just random Mon that we all potentially thought is an Ultra Beast or not. He's some devious Mon that we know absolutely next to nothing about, even in Sun and Moon. He was just theorized to be an Ultra Beast. I think, check it, right? Since he has prism prismatic armor, that's his ability, or prism armor, I think that once the armor pops off and it lands on these guys, that's his brand new transformation, is that star Pokemon. And once he no longer has this armor on, I think that that's when the Ultra Beast detector will actually detect him as an Ultra Beast. I think that's what it is. I, I think that's actually what it is. Because I feel like the armor is what's making him unable to be detected as an Ultra Beast. So that's just me. That's just what I've been thinking. That's my thoughts. But it's pretty fucking well because he literally gats these niggas. And then all of a sudden, he literally becomes Dusk Main Necrozma and Dawn Wings Necrozma. And it's interesting because they call it Dusk Main and Dawn Wings. But if you look at it here on Cerebi, if you actually look at it here on Cerebi, it's interesting because they actually came out with the names today and if I scroll down is it around here it should be um they said the Z move yep we're done about that dusk form um it's interesting because I don't remember if they actually called it like dusk form Solgaleo or like it was dawn oh no the names were actually finalized so they had like dawn of wing and like twilight of wing and dawn of main or some shit like that so that's 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 something I'm not even gonna lie but, I mean, it's interesting to see, like I said again, Dustmane Necrozma, Dalming is Necrozma, pretty fucking cool, I'm not gonna lie. And when you think about it as well, with when Kyurem did it, it was Kyurem, they kept the base name Kyurem, the thing that actually fused the two of them. They kept Kyurem White and Kyurem Black, so Dusk, Main Necrozma, Main, Lion, Dawn, Wings, Moon, Dawn, Wings, Bat. You can kind of put the two together, Dusk, Sun coming up, you can literally put the two together. It, it's pretty common sense, it makes sense, you know what I mean? This shit makes sense. This shit was not 1080. I'm sorry about that. This shit makes sense. You know what I mean? It literally makes sense. So I'm not surprised about that. These forms, again, like I said, I actually like how both of them they look. They look both really good. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. They both look really good. Um, I probably have more soft spot for Solgaleos. Because um, Lunala has like these wings on his fucking hands. that like, I don't know what they're for. I don't know what they're for. Like, on the bottom. And it seems like as well, both, and I remember actually saying this in one of the things in my Sun and Moon playthrough, what I didn't like is that the legendary Pokemon really does not play like as much of an impacting role as you think. The only thing that he does is pushes you in the wormhole and gets you out. That's literally it. There's a threat going on and they do nothing. They just sit there, you know, and he comes from this Nebi, this Cosmog that witnessed it all. You know, from the beginning to the end, and he does nothing. So I was like, I would love to see the Legendary Pokemon do more. You know what I mean? And here they are. The mascot Legendary Pokemon, like I said, going back. They're literally attacking and fighting this Necrozma. And that's so fucking cool. Like, look at this shit. He literally, they hit the Altairs, and then, like, they're just going, like, up into space, it looks like. They're just going up in the skies. And that shit's pretty fucking cool. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very excited to see that, dude. Holy shit. Pikachu Island. Uh, nothing really new. We already saw that in the Coral Coral. Nothing really new. And then this special Rock Ruff. Um, you only get it by purchasing it early, which I, I still think is one of the dumb things ever. And it looks like if you get an Ultra Moon, you get it with Thunder Fang. And if you get an Ultra Sun, you get it in Fire Fang. They don't have a Water Fang. <laughs> if they did, they would have done Water Fang. I don't know why they just didn't do Ice Fang. It's the next closest thing. Because the Moon, the Tide. It's literally the next closest thing. Why Thunder Fang? It's, it's like actually beyond me. I don't know why. It's just like, fuck it. We'll just give him Thunder Fang. But this is what it is. This is the one that can only evolve into, if I believe, the new one. Yeah, he evolves into the new one. And what I actually thought was pretty cool, because when Serbi actually tweeted out the Koro Koro, they deleted the tweet, and you can still see, because I quoted the tweet, and nothing's in the tweet. They deleted it because they typed it, and they retweeted it, and they made the retweet back, where essentially it was ruins this Z move, in my opinion. Not really ruins, but it doesn't make it as, I guess, unique is because it's just a unique Z move for Lycanroc. When I first saw this, and I think a lot of other people can agree with me, I thought that it was a signature Z move for just this brand new Lycanroc. I didn't think that it'd be a signature Z move for all three of the Lycanrocs. So all three of them you can see right now are actually able to use 
um, the Z move. All three of them can actually use them, and I think it's pretty cool because it has this ability where it actually can remove terrains. So it's almost like they want to make these Lycan rocks like Tapu killers, you know what I mean? That's why they specifically use it on the Tapu Coco right here because it removes the electric terrain after use, and it does a fuck ton of damage, dude. So it, it's pretty cool because it literally removes the terrain, which that's one big thing that makes the Tapu so good is their terrains. You know, it adds on to their typing and it makes them so fucking good. Uh, but we got new Ultra Beast. I'm very excited for this. When I saw this, you guys could see my initial reaction. I lost my shit. I like both of them. I do. I know a lot of people don't like assembly. I'm like, you niggas can like... I feel like we make this joke all the time. You guys can like cling clang, but you can't like assembly. Like, not my Pokemon fan. Not my Pokemon fan companion. Not my mans. But essentially, UB assembly dude looks fucking lit. He's a walking house. He's a cinder block with all these eyes. It's so demonic. I fucking love it, dude. I actually fucking love this guy so goddamn much. Look at all the devilish eyes. I think, and look at that, from the steel border, I think he's Seal Ghost. That's my assumed typing right now. I think he's Seal Ghost. I think he's going for Iron Defense, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's Iron Defense. I haven't seen the animation for Iron Defense in Sun and Moon, just because how? Like, who goes for Iron Defense in Sun and Moon? Nobody, right? So... Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I think it's a Seal Ghost type. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I truly do think that it is. Um, so he looks pretty fucking cool. I'm not gonna lie. And then my personal favorite out of the two new Pokemon that we got, the second Ultra Beast, is UB Burst. Now you guys can't tell me you guys thought that this was some alternate Zerkatry. I thought this was some alternate Zerkatry because his body's kind of built like one. It's real lanky, real skinny. Um, but he's not. He's a whole new Ultra Beast. He's UB Burst. Now here's the busted thing about this. This thing has the potential to be fairy fighting with all the colors and stuff like that and with how they type Pokemon to portray fairies, it, it kind of makes sense. And then the fighting type with its limbs being all like, look at a kung fu style that he's doing, that little fighting style. This mon could potentially be fairy fighting, which we've already seen Marshadow, ghost fighting. Fairy fighting would be fucking stupid. Two very offensive typings and then very a really good defensive typing too. Two really good typings, if anything. Fairy fighting could be a threat. It could be a serious, serious threat, dude. And he quarters his bug, too. Fuck that, yo. These fairies make bugs laugh. That's crazy. My nigga says are laugh at that shit, though. But seriously, though, UB Burst, I think this one's a fairy fighting, and I think UB Assembly is fairy, or not fairy, uh, Steel Ghost is what I think. Those are my possible theories are not what they are. I mean, this dude looks really fucking cool. I know some people are theorizing that he's like, fire typing because in a japanese trailer he actually goes for a move and he does like what he does like so much damage like a medic or some shit like that and they heard a super effective noise but it's interesting listen to this right like he goes for a super effective move on there on the decidui but i don't know what move he went for it's the thing like i don't know that animation it just looks like it's a signature move anything uh fortis pokemon it looks like a signature move i've yet to see the animation for this move and i don't think it's present some people were telling me that it's just present and I'm like, that's a deliberate signature move. It's not going to happen. I, I think it's his own signature move. I just don't know what it is. Um, I, I, I don't. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't. And from the looks of it, Serebi also doesn't know what it is. If we look at it here, um, the cool thing about it is, is you see that. So, yeah, the, the Dusk Mane and the Cosmo Dawn Wings. Yeah, like initially the, the post-translated names, or the pre-translated names were actually um, uh, Twilight of Wings and... Uh, Dawn of, Dawn of Maine, something like that, or Dusk of Maine, I don't know, it was weird. Uh, we got here where it says, reveal two new Ultra Beasts, uh, UB Burst and UB Assembly. Burst is exclusive to Ultra Sun, while Assembly is exclusive to Ultra Moon. At present, we do not have further, we do not have type of further details for these two new Pokemon, so we know next to nothing. They literally just came out, so we know next to nothing. I don't think we're going to know anything for such a long time. It was the same thing with Cartana and Celesteela. They came out, we didn't know the typing for such a long time. Uh, one of the cool thing is too is our now our we are counting starters has you face off against a young goose. So in the beginning of the game, which you saw, um, which I actually am gonna try and find it. I don't think they showed it here in the beginning of this game. I literally don't think that they did. I, I think that they did. It's like kind of close up here, but it's when you choose your starter, right? I don't know if they showed it in here. I don't think that they did. No, I don't think that they did. It's when you literally choose your starter, and what they do is you actually fight like somebody and he has a uh young goose which it doesn't look like they show it so okay but it, it was showing the reaction trailer that i did 
um, which is pretty cool. I mean, you literally get a level up now versus before where you just catch the Pokemon. So it's pretty cool. You still got the level up from battling house with two mods. It was pretty cool though. It was still pretty cool. Um, I like it because they showed early parts of the game and clothing. It's literally just showed, they showed a couple of new scenery, including the beach, uh, which you see in hella beaches, but the beach looked different. It was like a different beach. Um, uh, one cool thing is all is like Lycan Rock Z move is really fucking cool because it actually moves terrain, which is really, really nice. Um, but that's really all the new information, guys, that we got. Um, I'll always keep you guys updated. Subscribe, leave a like. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below what you think the typings are for this Ultra Beast and such like that. Um, and just relishing the knowledge and stuff like that. So, thank you guys for watching. I know this video is a little long. I rambled on and I kind of broke a lot of things down, gave my true thoughts. Um, because it's been compiled in like two and a half days. So, just, just let it happen. And um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe. I am no nexus. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. With that, I'll see you guys next time.